Great Yarmouth Railway Station is the start of the Weaver's Way. Welcome to my mini-series exploring the long-distance footpaths and railways of Norfolk. In this video I'm exploring the Weaver's Way between Cromer and Great Yarmouth. The route is well serviced by the Greater Anglia rail links of the Wherry and Bitten Line. Beginning at Great Yarmouth, the route takes you east over the open broadlands of Braden Water. It's approximately five kilometres to the Burnie Arms before veering north up to the River Thurn. Yeah, so this is where the path splits. Um, that part of the path is combined Wherryman's Way and Weaver's Way to Great Yarmouth to the railway station. It's the Burnie Arms just there. And then you divert across the marshes towards Halvergate. I don't know about Burnie Arms Mill, ancient monument. This sign is an ancient monument. A faded British Rail Burnie Arms sign. That used to be red. Very windy. Burnie Arms, absolutely wonderful. The most isolated railway halt in the entire British Isles. Can you believe it? Trains only stop on request. Very limited service. <laughs> one day, one day I'm gonna catch this train. As you leave the Burnie Arms Halt, make sure you stick to the footpath as the land is marshy and crisscrossed with innumerable dikes and water ditches, making navigation treacherous. Well folks, I think I've found my bed for the night. Absolutely perfect location on the riverbank. Wow, what an evening. Time for something to eat and a drink. Oh, that sounds good. Cheers everyone. Out with the wild country Terra Nova Zephros 1 tonight. There she is. Got my curry and I've got my red wine. So without further ado, let's crack open that red wine. Nice little Merlot. And buon appetito. A few old windmills. Old windmill there and there. That makes it all worth it. Absolutely amazing sunrise this morning, just as I hoped. Now this is where I wish there was smell of vision Just about all packed up, and then I remembered last night my back wheel was starting to go a bit soft and I've checked it this morning and I've definitely got puncture. When I start, I start to the opposite side to the valve. I'll take this one home and repair it. I'll put the new tube in. I'll be using one of these CO2 canisters to inflate the tyre. When you use one of these things you've got to be very careful because as the pressure discharges the temperature drops. You have to make sure that that's shut and 
um, make sure you're wearing gloves or keep your hands away from it. And now I'm going to screw that onto there. Look at that, look at the condensation on there. Such a drop in pressure. Okay, well that's pretty damn solid, so... Um, yeah, wonderful. So I'm just about all packed up. Puncture has now been repaired. I'll be underway very shortly. This is more like it. It's uh, already too warm for my overcoat. A beautiful day. One windmill, two windmills, an old windmill in the distance. And I've just passed two windmills back there. The land of the windmill. sort of unusual kind of riverside village. I guess they're holiday homes. Potter Iron Bridge, otherwise known as Potterham. bacon sandwich and a nice cup of coffee. Crikey, I've only just sat down and I'm attacked by a marauding mob of ducks. Weaver's Way at Stalham. Looks like some of the um, footpaths may be out of service. Areas closed for resurfacing. Anyway, we'll see how we get on. Going along the Weaver's Way from Stalham, I don't know, maybe five or eight kilometres, something like that. And um, this is the result of their resurfacing. So this is absolutely wonderful. And it doesn't look like it's totally finished, but this is fantastic. It's like a super highway, cycle super highway through the woods. Look at that. Now that is a cycleway. It's like the Everglades, you could almost imagine crocodiles or alligators or something in there. Maybe even something a bit prehistoric. Pretty sure this is the old Dillham to North Walsham Canal. Paston Sixth Form College at North Walsham.
Have I ever told you that I landed here in a helicopter? No, I didn't think I had. As we approach Aylsham, the Weaver's Way continues north to Cromer, but that's for another video. Thanks very much for watching.